Howdy, everybody, and welcome to an episode of the Sneaker History Podcast, the latest and greatest episode, in fact. I'm Robbie, chilling here with my guy, Mike. What's up? Hope everybody's having a great afternoon, morning, evening, late night, brunch, whenever you're <laughs> listening to this. Hope you're having a good one, because we have a good one here for you. I don't think we have for any sure. new reviews, though, now that I think about it. Oh, no. Do we have, I don't think we have anything new. I think we're going to have to just hold off for an episode. Sad day. Very sad. Unlike Mike's pink polo, which is kind of giving me, <laughs> together, we're very springy and very, uh, <laughs> I guess we're in the middle of summer now, technically, but bright colors. This matches what I've been wearing recently. So this kind of has a purpose for wearing this sweater what did you rock today anything that matches the pink uh no nah, not really actually so um this is uh one more half of my work attire so you know okay. as you work from home got polo but i have shorts on so i long day i didn't get a chance to change but i just got done walking around with the baby just trying to get her you know calm for the evening outside just took a stroll and just broke out the, the ultra boost 21s uh they kind of matched not on brand because it's definitely a Nike shirt, but the pink and the greens match those bright hues. So that's what that's what I rock today, man. I'm just gonna ignore the black check on your arm. That's what I'm saying. Just ignore that. But the pink and that, yellow is to. a good look together, right? We just don't talk about the brand, you know, meshing, mashing together, not meshing because they don't mesh. Well, according to Kanye, you can do it. So, oh well, in that case, I'm I'm, I'm golden. <laughs> If he can wear his foam runners and a pair of black Nike socks, I think it, you can wear a polo shirt and some yes. Ultra Boost. I mean, it is a work shirt, so I didn't really have an option of like what brand it was. So mm -hmm. that's my excuse. Do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. I um, have actually been rocking what matches my shirt, the UNC hey. Quattros. Um, nice. What's funny is that we were dyeing shirts at Rowett's uh, baby shower yesterday. Yeah. And I don't know if you can see the spots there, but oh, no. your boy wore these one time and got dial all over them. Um, hey, it's, it's okay, though. Hobby. It's more motivation to actually wear them. Like, these these are no longer going to be babied. I cut the tag <laughs> off the I ugly noticed. part of the tag. Trying to get the sun. Here. There we go. There you go. Blocks yeah, no, work. it looks good, man. I think you did a good job cutting. The spots, I mean, it is what it is. Just wear them now. Now you literally have zero excuses not to beat them into the ground. I'm going to a Modest Mouse concert outdoors next month. Be oh, wearing okay. those. Be wearing these. Game but time. great shoe, man. I mean, like, what's funny is fours can be hit or miss, I think, with how they fit on your foot and if they're mm -hmm. actually comfortable to wear. I I like wearing them. And I don't know about you. I think, tell me after I say this, I can only wear Jordans now as an adult if they're tied tight. Like I have to like lace my shit, like thoroughly. Like do, you, do you rock it loose or do you rock tight? I think I think I tie them all now. I was sitting thinking like back in the day, I used to be all loosey goosey with my Jordans. Now I, I tie them up like an adult. I'm like, oh, what? What if? What does the world come to? It's not just like the look of it. I feel like I get blisters and they don't really. Yeah, they don't slip. Right. I'm more secure. I can wear them longer. I definitely lace my Elevens up and my fours like I'm about to go play like huh, tight, huh. Tight. <laughs> Loop, swoop pool cool. <laughs> um but no great great rock um we're going to talk more about that ultra boost because yeah. um i break my ultra boost out only in the summertime and i see you, you wore yours so we'll get to talking about ultra boost more i wanted to talk about and i'll get started as i start this conversation since it's just the two of us today I kind of want to just go through an extended, like, I, uh, let's just say coppin' or shoes to yeah. have come in. Um, what's what's around the house from both of us recently? So Definitely. without Nick and Rowett, I figured, hey, let's take this time to dive a little deeper. Um, I'm, I'm looking like at here as I open Robbie's up this closet. closet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but the sneaker history podcast version. Yeah. So we got to remember, we do have audio listeners and this is not all visual. We do like it. If you go to YouTube and watch this, that's awesome. But um, please also listen, watch however you want to do it. Cause you need to check these shoes out. These are the cloud boom echo by on. 
And like I said, when I got them, I'm not fast enough for these shoes. It's like, I'm not, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken for the late great Colonel Sanders. I'm too slow to feel these shoes, <laughs> to fill these shoes. I should probably say I'm too slow to fill these shoes. Dude, It's a track spike. I didn't realize the shape of it was so aggressive when you showed the picture originally to us. Man. That thing's like a track spike, the way it's aggressively curved up and you, you, you lost 12 on, seconds on your run immediately. This is the marathon offering. So this is supposed to be uh, the rival or, you know, comp to the um, Zoom X Vapor 14 trillion 92% version 18. Um, this is actually a version two of the cloud boom. So there's the cloud boom. Let's call it one for intensive purposes. This is the echo AKA two. Um, but what I found interesting and kind of like cute in terms of like shoe marketing is they describe it as like outrunning your echo or outrun your echo. And I was like, huh, that's like, Somebody yeah, else I mean, must have had shadow, right? Or else they would have called <laughs> this a shadow or something. I'm like, okay, Echo works. It's a stretch, but I like it. It sounds cool. Um, great marketing, the, man. It's great marketing, man. The entire shoe is based around great marketing. So the cloud tech are these little windows. I've talked about them in the past. But what makes these more of like a modern day competitive shoe? And like you already noted, the swoop here, the nine millimeter drop you have from heel to toe, I guess. Yeah. From heel to toe. Um, it's all based around a, a spring plate. So like any modern quick running shoe, there's like a carbon fiber plate in here. That's to help gonna lift you. you forward. Um, I'm at a commission still, so I haven't been able to, to wear them yet, but the first cloud boom, I really enjoy wearing. Um, I'll wear those when I do like a five, 10 K I'm not fast enough or, disciplined enough to do more than a 10k so like no marathons will be had anytime soon maybe one day but um the the echo is a shoe i'm really interested to actually get to wear sooner than later i got about another two weeks of no running on my leg then i'll be good but uh that's a fantastic looking uh oh well, my dog is freaking out now the dog agrees my... he's <laughs> like where's the he's black pair <laughs> where's uh where, where's another color he's like give me something else Oh man. Uh, so no, I think that's, that's a fantastic pair. Uh, on's been making some great stuff. I need to get back out running again. And every time I see you break open a box from on, I think like, man, I'm really, ex I, I need to need to try them out first off and then I need to get back outside and get on, get on the pavement. So no, good stuff. I think when you're healed, you're going to enjoy that. What have you been having around your layer? Around your my layer nonsense. No. <laughs> so this one is like I'm really happy oh, about yeah. this one. I, dude, I had never owned a Jordan 13. What did what did they come out? 97, 98, around that time frame. I remember seeing kids have them. I was like, man, it's a dope shoe. It just but it's just one of the ones I just never picked up. Even when they were sitting around, um, you know, cheap prices, I just found myself buying something different. Finally decided to pull the trigger. And I have to say, besides the colorway, I am a Rockets fan. And Hot take, this is better than a blue flint to me. But this is so comfortable, dude. I have put this on literally every chance I have like to go somewhere, I'm throwing these on. They're sitting by the door. The box is, first of all, came with too many to destroy, whatever. But these only see the box. So, so, dude, this is fantastic. I love this 13. Is it just me or have you been noticing a lot more posts of shoes being destroyed, like the box is being destroyed? Oh, dude, someone's just like up. curb stomping it. It's crazy. I've I've never I feel like there's definitely been an uptick in the past six months. The shoes yep. getting I've had a couple pairs not come like wrecked or demolished, but there's like little little things where I question if a resale platform would accept it as new box. It's like man, why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well it was like I, I just in, in my thought was like if I sent this box over this way, would it get rejected? Exactly. I feel like everyone has the same thought, but I'm like, how are they getting this way? Are they are they just being this careless at the facility where they just like uh, stomp and stomping everything out? So it's not just about the box and like resale value. It's about what Mike has going yeah. on behind him. Like if your shoes come in a damaged box, you can't stack them correctly. Like your your, oh, your stacks are going to be crooked. 
all it's, sorts of nonsense. Here it is. I mean, I'll pull it up for you. I mean, what what is that? That is now relegated to the top of every pile because it cannot yeah. support any weight. I, was, I looked at that box. I'm like, what? Who who just had their way with my box? It looks like someone tried to play the accordion with it. Fucking up. But that shoe is not a fuck up. Like, I, I have no. to admit. And I posted Amigos picture earlier on sneaker history of them wearing GRs with Soldier Boy. It's like GR Jordans rock. I mean, it's like they do when they're done well. It's like there's a reason why Jordans are so beloved. There's like any brand. There's duds, but everybody releases duds. But the good stuff is still really good. Those red flints are whatever you want to call them. The like Kevin Martin. Yeah, Redson. like whatever name people have for them. Jim Reds, Red Flints. Done well. Um, I just hate it because when you get a good one like this, there's the bar set too high. Like now I'm looking at all these other thirteens, like the Royals in black you have, uh, that starfish color. I'm like, oh, I wonder if they're just as good. But I feel like if I pull that trigger, I will be disappointed when they show up in hand. The black and Royals are just as good. I am also curious about the starfish pair. I've, I've been, I've gone back and looked at those a couple of times. Like, ah, I don't need a third pair right now, but <laughs> I like them. They're good. Like if the this, price is right, we'll come back. <laughs> I say a third pair. This next pair is a third. This is now the third answer four I have. They're, they're, they're so, they're so shiny. You can't even like really. Yo, those things are white. Got a got a blind from, but that's why it's cool. They're really not that white. They're more like cream. There's white aspects. So on the normally reflective portion here, oh, okay, it's pure white, but it's more of like a cream. Yeah. This is the Braun Fifty Six Answer Four by Reebok collaboration. I love the subtle details they put on there. This the dice. I mean, I mean, I'm from Vegas. So the dice was a cool oh, touch, just- <laughs> and the dice as it actually came with like physical dice, six of them. Oh, dope, uh, bro! Yeah, I think displayed them on the shelf. I'm like, those are actually not going in the box. I like that a lot. That's um, it. But this is just like a really clean, and it was, I don't know enough about Bronze Fifty Six. I know it's a skate shop skate, yeah. or brand in New York. Um, they have this like Microsoft logo going on, like Microsoft Windows, like ninety eight oh. logo probably better like this it's so cool it's it's stupid very dope. but it's awesome it's like everything's so nostalgic nowadays everything's so retro and this is like a retro with a retro logo with some like retro kind of nicks what's the insole having it because reebok's been killing it with the collaborations and their insole it is, always telling the story it's just actually the same logo as here okay, okay. which okay. isn't a bad thing it looks really clean yeah. But yeah, the answer for bronze fifty six, man. This is this is a really clean shoe. Um, oh, I, not that one. I don't know. You, you never see the bottom, but I like how it's all kind of white going through the midfoot or forefoot. And of course, only the strong survive as usual. Okay. But Vegas, man, being a Vegas kid, having dice, I was like, that's that's sick. I definitely these are cool. Don't think like enough these. enough looks. I don't think, man. I know when we got the info from it. From uh, you know all of the marketing stuff when we we posted some pictures, but I feel like those didn't get enough enough eyes on because those are clean in hand. Like I I didn't see those in, in person, but that's a that's a slick looking shoe, man. That's like the that's like the dress shoe version of the the Antra Four. You could throw that on with like a a nice some uh, a linen summer suit. You know you're going to get your mimosas, Robbie, in Portland. What's up? Hey, if I do one thing right, it's brunch. There you go. Also, I have to, speaking of Portland, I do have to give a shout out to the homie. I'm um, in the brand Feed the Soul. He does little drops. He, he's he's actually got Kyrie to wear it before. I think oh, Andre 3002. Really, because it's great stuff. I'm not going to lie. It, it fits me. You know, sleeves can be hard sometimes. And they fit yeah. perfectly. A good dye. It's, yeah, Feed the Soul. Check it out. Really good Iverson stuff. So I know, Mike, I know you're a big, mm. you have a lot of Iverson stuff. You're a big uh, uh, have a lot of Iversons, um, <laughs> but he has a lot of Iverson inspiration. This okay. is from like his essential line. This is really clean. Though. Like I'm not gonna lie, I bought more expensive hoodies from designers mm-hmm. or you know sweatshirts, and they don't fit this well, and they don't. So it's just no, like it looks like it's tapered very well. Like it looks good. I like that. Find good quality. Find it. There you go. Oh, what's up next from you? All right. Well, I'm going to follow suit in the uh, Bot Boy gang. 
Boom. The Power Ranger questions. I mean, I guess I got to show both to get the full effect because you got the mismatched toes. Good old Megazord style. I mean, I love this shoe. I, I wore it one time and I kind of don't want to wear it anymore because I, I just think it was done so well. Like there's a comic shop near our near where we live and they always have, you know, some of the, the cast from the show who would show up and like do signings. And I think my next goal is to have as many of them sign these shoes as possible and keep them in glass case. Do you it, ever, when you, when you lace them up, do you say back to action? Funny you said it because in the review, I definitely stuck that in there at some point. <laughs> but dude, well, talk about the insoles. Oh, the, the glues, I wore them and it got warm. But look at this, man. Like, dun, 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 all the way in there, dun, dun, dun. you're getting everything, man. I know people are like, it, it, these are definitely made for a select group of people. I won't say they're made for everybody. But for those people like me, I mean, this just all little little seven year old nerd dreams come true. I mean, look, there's even more like things in on the freaking strobel, man. Like it's just so much. It's so it's done so well. I mean, the box. I, I don't want to pull the box out because this is too big. But the box, you get all six shoes. You can construct the uh, original Megazord. Um, I I mean, I can nerd out on that all day. But it's just one of those things is like, hey, it, it may not be the, uh, you know, the fragment or whatever. This collaboration is what's something I'm looking for. This is something that just made me legitimately happy because I could get burned down on shoes a lot of times. Excuse me. But this is a shoe like a, a shoe that, that Reebok sent over legitimately like made me feel like like that kid and that genuine just love for sneakers. So Always shout out to Reebok for sending the dope stuff over, but I don't know, man. This is out of the ones I'm showing. Is probably my favorite one. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw something printed on a strobel. That yeah. is a, a cool because I mean, if you have a really cool insole, it's nice to put something on the strobel because you want to pull them out like you just did and like show them off. It's like, oh, check out this added detail. Bam. Yep. That's really cool. So speaking of details. The detail on this next shoe, I'm reaching for it with this arm, uh, <laughs> is very obvious detail, but very effective detail. Um, we actually have here the Dame Ooh. 7 opponent advisory. We, we all know parental advisory, ice cube, ice tea, twisted sister, you know, that, that good old <laughs> 80s. The music is making my kids little D Satan worshipers type stuff. So <laughs> playing off of that and Dame Lillard being a rapper, Adidas basketball very smartly dropped this opponent advisory. And it's just so smart because Dame has the bravado, obviously, to do this. Like, oh, Dame time. You got to have like, he he's confident. He's, he's, he's confident in himself as he should be. Yep. Um, to have that and perfectly play it with his musical side, I think was a very, this is this like, it's a black fucking shoe with this, some words printed on the side, but it's just so effective when you know his story and it's, here's another little part. So the Dame seven has on the inside, um, it's kind of hard to read here with the light, but um, it has Dalla, the name of his album, EXT slash play. So like extra play. Um, it's just like it, it all feels like an album. Like it's dope. It's a really, really cool shoe, man. And it's like really affordable. It has lightning strike going on in there. There's no bounce, there's no boost, which isn't a what bad is thing. Is it light strike or yeah, it's light strike. Okay. Um, but it's just like it feels good. I haven't again, I'm still blown out right now. Which everybody's been asking what I was wearing when that happened. It was it was the hardened step back, but it was not the step back's fault. It was my step back's fault. The hardened step back is fucking comfortable. I think it's the step back too. Um, stupid comfortable, man. I'm not just saying that. Really, really. Oh, no, dude, it's better than the the like the the not the inline, the, but the actual signature. Yeah. Like the main line is better than the main line. Like that shoe, Adidas has a really good like heel lockdown like this dame seven it's just it's funny it's too bright when i don't want it to be too bright and it's 
not bright enough and I want to show you what's in here. <laughs> but when you feel every basketball person, player, aficionado of basketball shoes knows what it feels like when you have a good like latch feel in the back mm-hmm. of your Achilles region to really keep help, to really help keep your heel in the back of the shoe. Yeah. But uh, I really love that. And I thought this was a really cool take. Uh, very fun shoe. Very, very fun so, shoe. Just, I like it's that so one. simple. It's just like you come to the court, play some, you know, you're there for business. This is very business oriented basketball shoe. Man, so. Sometimes simple's best. Like we get so so much of these over the top things. Sometimes going back to basics is is the way to go, man. Over the top, like a Megazord shoe, or you could just have like a exactly rapper shoe. Exactly over the top. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So like two of my shoes are kind of over the top. The first one's gonna probably be the most uh toned down of the 13. So I mean, the next one I have is definitely one of been one of my grills for 10 years now, maybe I guess, yeah, 10 years. Finally got my hands on it, and I don't give a crap if people think it's played out now or have no love for it, but the LeBron 8 low Miami night, I, I I felt like, I, I kept telling everybody in the Discord, I feel like Thanos getting one of the Infinity Stones. This has been, I, this is one of the shoes I don't tie. We talk about not tying up shoes. LeBron's I can't tie because they're a little, little, little tight, but everything about this shoe, it just... <laughs> My my little 2011 sneakerhead dreams came true when they showed up at my door when I was able to find them for a really like stupid good price because again people are so fickle in the sneaker world that they're like oh this isn't cool anymore it was ten years ago if I don't care this this is it I mean I feel like this is synonymous with the South Beach like this they're one and the same to me and what. what I, there's no words to it. I, I just I, this will will always be in a collection. It will never be getting gotten rid of. I don't care when a soul starts to fall apart years from now. It will still hang around just because it, it's one of those those grails for me. What's funny is you say like, "Oh, that's not not you," but yeah, <laughs> your story of other people saying that like, oh, like that's like she's, she's not cool anymore. But I still bought it trying to see if I could make like a hundred dollars. So <laughs> it's, like, it's don't like, tell nobody. It's some dumb shit, but like. I feel like I played myself not getting that shoe. I really wish I did. But, you know, I don't wear a lot of pink polos. Nothing wrong with that, Mike, but you're a very handsome dad. Pink polo makes sense. The kind of pink in the shoe, it completes the fit. I just don't, th- like, I don't see much more room. And I already have the Sprites and the Solar Reds. There's just, like, I don't have enough room. Plus the two retros of the eight already. It's just, like, there wasn't enough room at this time. But when you <laughs> pulled that out, I was like, man, that is a beautiful it is a beautiful shoe. It I truly is thing. just like a looker. And I know we said three, but I literally was pulling out shoes and I just straight up forgot. These came in at a weird time. I was leaving the house and I just put them in the closet and I literally forgot I I own them. I'm going to oh, do a I'll one second thing. They don't, they don't need a lot of conversation behind Uh-oh, them. Oh, I'm but scared just, to see it. No, this, this is the undefeated uh, Air Force One. The holes are um, fresh. Man, I was with my friend last weekend and he had the dunks on and they look cool. I still think these look better, though. Yeah, I do. genuinely think these look better. Um, got them from Undefeated for retail. Very happy. Oh, that's always a win. Retail. I'm always a fan of retail. It's such a good looking freaking shoe, man. Like it's just Are a they really cut really lower. No, the, it, the it's... shape. The shape looks different than a typical Air Force One for some reason. It looks more streamlined and, and low profile, which I like. I kind of see what you're talking about now, but no, I think it's it's right. Maybe because I'm just I got a bigger foot. You're not used to seeing the proportions do look different. That's why. So retail world, ideally, you have like a size nine on the wall. That's like the mm-hmm. best looking shoe proportionally. Yeah. As they get bigger or smaller, things get out of whack. But um, <laughs> I don't know. They, they look right to me. But just yeah, I don't need to talk much about this. It's just really, I literally forgot I had it. I was like, oh snap, those did come in. Well, nice. I got one more that's not pictured because they're in UPS uh, possession at this point. They should be here sometime this week. But uh, I always like to buy one shoe for my birthday, and I pulled the trigger on something that I've been wanting for a better part of a year now. And that was you the save Eric it. Don't, don't ruin the surprise. Oh. You're going to have a story about it, too. I mean, oh, you're going to have okay. a video about it, too. Mm-hmm. Well, this is for those, those generous folks who actually listen to the podcast. So, you know what? I'll, I'll save it. I, I, they heard part of it, but I'm super excited when I get this shoe. I'm scared I'm gonna destroy how much I'm gonna wear. 
It's a good one. You definitely oh, picked dude. a goodie. I'm not going to say an oldie because it's not that old. Not but that old. You, but you picked a goodie. Yeah, um, we're kind of going to use that to segue into our our shorter main topic. We're going to keep it a, a lighter episode today. Uh, Mike, go ahead and pull out the shoe you wore on your on your walk with your daughter earlier today. Go ahead and pull that shoe back yep, up. Yep. So go break out this Ultra Boost guy here. So, I have been in the market for another pair of Ultra Boosts. I'm going on vacation in September, and I was like, man, I'm going to wear those now-stained Jordan 4s because they can now be worn wherever I want. They're forever ruined, but they're good. But then my second thought was, I want a pair of Ultra Boosts. And I saw the Ultra Boost DNA, which is, to my eye, the original Ultra Boost just renamed. Um, there's the 21, which you have here. There's the 20, which was different, and the 19, which was also different. Um, very exaggerated cages, not the same exaggerated heel Mike's holding here with the 21. But it got me thinking, like, I'm still out here looking like, okay, I got to wear one to two pair of shoes for a week. I want one of those two to be an ultra boost because I know in the heart of hearts, it's like a top five most comfortable shoe ever to me. This whatever variation it is, but I was like, who else is still wearing them or buying ultra boosts? Mike is wearing them also, (laughs) but to our listeners, if you could help us out with a review, (laughs) let us know the last time in the review, you bought a pair of ultra boosts. Was it a new take like this? Was it a, uh, a a DNA or a V2? Was it like a V3 or V4? Let's just go through all the numbers. Um, (laughs) When was the last time you got one? A boot? I was just realizing how many variations. There's like the laceless. Mm-hmm. There's like a chukka. Yeah. There's um cageless. Yeah, there's nice. cageless. I forgot about the cageless. Yeah. Uncaged. Yeah. Uh so who's still out here buying Ultra Boost? Because I am. I'm just not looking Dude. to pay full price. So I'm I'm waiting for a sale. Check but, out uh, no Adidas right now is uh all of the a lot of the 21s, at least a lot of the, the well, they're all parley, but they, they're all, sorry, they're all prime blue, but a lot of the parley ones were like on sale for like 126. Um, I don't like the so, 21, man. I know you do. You you're like gonna, that. You're going to beat it. The, I got to, I got to like wearing it though. I, I'm, I'm well, specifically now looking for a pair of DNAs. The, the DNAs well, look the zebra good. DNAs, dude. I mean, I don't know how you feel about the zebra Yeezy 350s, but uses that same kind of pattern on them. They're actually pretty sick. There was that Luke Skywalker. Or was it just an X-wing pair? I think it was this. X-wing. Oh, my brother has an X-wing pair, They're, dude. The the print on the boost is insane. I should have bought the. I, I feel like, damn it, dude. I thought they were corny at the time, and now when I think about it, I'm like, I would actually wear those. Like, I, I want to wear those. Damn it. But well, I would say check. I, I know you're not a big fan of like the stock X and goats, but I would say check. I always see on goat. I always like to go see find the cheapest shoe I can get my hands on. And a lot of things are on there are pretty cheap when it comes to Ultra Boost and a lot of the colorways. Like the, remember the maroon that was like a Euro exclusive that retroed a couple like last year. They're dirt cheap on there right now. Same with the uh, the Force Green pair. Really I wonder cheap. how much Game of Thrones are. I think it varies. I think there may be some more that some that are more expensive than others. I still see them in store sometimes, like cheap. What? Yeah, dude. Like I've seen the. Um, was that the blue one? I didn't watch Game of Thrones. You know that the the the, the, the White, White Walker, Walker one. Yeah, I saw a, a pair of those sitting around. They were like ninety bucks. They were just hanging around like a. Uh, how was I? Oh, the Foot Locker. The Foot Locker near. Well, next time you're wandering around, and you see a pair. If you ever see a pair, like, hey, you got a thirteen. What's up? Probably the only thing they have. <laughs> I, a third. I mean, the fourteen's too big, but yeah, thirteen's ideal. But all right, we're, we're going to end on this because it's like ideal situations that we're never going to see. So I'm trying to get to the Jordan 36. Um, Lots of team based or country based colorways have been dropping online of the Jordan 36. And I believe soul savvy had recently like the, the PE colorway director of Jordan brand. And they did a little interview talking about PEs and man, like, not to be like a grumpy old man, but like, I want to see these shoes in my hand. Like, I don't need to have every special edition. Jason Tatum definitely deserves to have his little deuce, you know, special edition 
colorways for his son, have that special relationship. But I'm looking here at a Luca 36. That's fire. A Jason Tatum. Is that right? The Luca I don't know. The way, they're, the way they're showing it looks like it's going to be releasing. I could be wrong. They, I mean, I, I would be solving my own problem that I'm trying to state here if they do release. The Jason Tatum one is sick. It doesn't have anything to do with Celtics on it, so it's gorge, gorgeous. Um, mm-hmm. The Kia Nurse, gorgeous. The Ruri Hachimura, gorgeous. Um, there's a China pair from like, uh, it's like Root, no. Uh, no, is it Gui? Gao. Yeah, Gui. Oh, no, my God. His PEs are insane fire. Every the, Like the last three Jordans that have come out, if you go to any third-party site to try to buy them, they're super expensive, but God, they're so good. I loon, I a loon. I can't. As his last, I can't. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. His it's his like, PEs are flames. Every last one of them. It's like if, if Ronald McDonald had class, skill, and dare I say, sex appeal for a shoe and a clown. <laughs> but it looks so good. And like looking at these photos, I think maybe they're just photoshopped for these thumbnails. I hope they're not. But like every Olympics. The 33 was the last time there was an Olympic year. Uh, mm-hmm. No, it was the, um, no, 31. Um, Jimmy so, Butler. Yeah. Jimmy Butler was rocking. I was like, man, those USA 31s look sick. Should have um, bought now, those. I slept. I slept too. And I also think, man, I should have bought those. But like the Japan, China, Canada, US, um, they all look so cool. Like, please, 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 Jordan Brand, make us worthy. Because, like, I skipped on the 35s. Mm-hmm. Part of me wishes I didn't. But I am super interested if any of these 36s come out. They have release dates on them. Um, so I think you're right because they do look like official photos. But, like, this is the kind of stuff I want. Like, this is fire. Well, dude, remember 2012 when the uh, they are really pushing a new Hyperdunk, the, the, the Hyperdunk 2012 for the Olympics? Remember yeah. they had the country packs? Dude, I they had the USA. Uh, I think they had Japan, Brazil. Germany. I bought the Brazil. Yeah, Germany. I bought the Brazil pack, the big highlighter volt pack with the uh, f- like the gorge green swoosh on it. I love that. It didn't have to have any like. I didn't have to have the exact one that the players had, but in fact, you gave me something pretty dang close. I was excited about that, dude. I still have that pair of shoes, and like I keep it on standby in my trunk if a, if a game pops off, but. Why can't we hope they do the same thing with these Jordan 36s? Because that would be so dope to be able to go through and like, hey, here's the spectrum of the teams wearing the Jordans. Go buy them. What's frustrating to me is like we've had releases, like you said. I believe they did it in 2008. I believe they did it. I mean, they've done it with Hyperdunks periodically. It could be regional. It could be global with the Olympics. There's always a theme. But like. With Jordan Brand, we've had a Zion release. We've had a Jason Tatum release. We've had Blake Griffin releases. We've had Luca releases. You know, they they release. They come out. But yep. what sucks is when, like, I don't need to have. I want the lemonade pairs. Jason Tatum has. But yeah. if you were to release like a drink pack, think like Kyrie's cereal pack. Yeah. If you were to do like yeah. a Jordan drink pack. And just have each player wear them like once or twice. I then have the literal taste in my mouth of a player wearing something. It makes it feel like it's more special because I have a memory of seeing that player. And these are all fantastic players. Jason Tatum could go for 45 wearing a shoe from that pack. Zion could have a 20 and 20. I don't know. But like we're not really afforded those opportunities when in the past Nike has really released Good collections. I think of stuff like Paul George wearing Hyperdunks before he had his own line and Kyrie wearing Hyperdunks. They were wearing like cooler, like they were like the Black History Month stuff, like that would release yep. to the public, but they would rock. And it's like, well, I then want to go buy that Black History Month shoe because I saw Paul George wearing it. I'm I'm, t- I'm speaking of the general It's back fan. to the old school way of how we used to buy shoes. Like we saw someone on court wearing them. It's like, I got to try those out. And I mean, I get... If we're speaking directly with the 36 and the Olympics, just for the sake of argument, I'm a sucker for all things Olympics because I just I love the the country color sneakers. 
And although the U.S. has lost two exhibition games so far, we won't talk about that. But I will, I will buy them. Robbie, you sound like you will buy them. Like, give me something that has been on court that means something. And I'm more, I'm going to try harder to buy that than fill in the blank collaboration because this actually has like I like the idea of where this is like this has been used. You know, or mm-hmm. in this, you know, this is actually something the players are playing in. Be like the shoes are actually good. Give them to me. Yeah, like, <laughs> let me have them. That's I want to I pay want. you. <laughs> Take my money. I'm begging you. But I mean, we'll have to see how it works out. Because I, I, looking at that closer, I do believe they actually will release. So that's cool to me. Um, but let's it's end here, though. Thirty six. There's a whole bunch of shoes from one LeBron James, and I saw a really funny video with Chris Bosh, like playing with like. Did you see that video of Chris Bosh playing with a little no. Space Jam toy, LeBron? So I there's a whole, not. as you could probably guess, and if you have two eyes and a TV or a phone, Space Jam A New Legacy has a Nike and Converse collection releasing alongside the shoe. I mean, alongside the movie. Interestingly enough, like Forever 21 also has in on that sure. merch. Like everybody's in on this merch. Um, I have definitely gone from like a 100% hater on the LeBron 18 stuff to interested in it because Jacques Slade posted a video and I've seen a couple other people getting beautiful lockers lockers. with Xboxes in it. But like, that's all cool. The controller is gorgeous. I want that controller, but I also actually want like the Wiley Coyote, like Roadrunner pair after seeing Jacques talk about him and break him down and seeing them side by side. I'm like, that's actually a good looking shoe. The 19 still kind of, Ooh, I love that 19, man. I I love that futuristic stuff. You do? What's your oh, favorite? Like, like, what what speaks to you about the 19? The 19 is just, I love when things take the next step in technology. I feel like with the past, what, 16, 17, 18 LeBron, they've been pretty similar to a degree. Now we're taking the next jump into this, like, like it looks like we have a whole new – like variation of shoe. I like the fast looking shoe. That one look actually looks fast. It's I mean, of course it's LeBron, so it's a big shoe. But this one looks fast. Looks like we have a uh, uh I don't know if it's quote unquote an eclipse plate or whatever it is through the middle of the shoe. Look like there's a decoupled sole this time around. So it looks super dope, super different. And plus the color they're using, which is very similar to a big bang colorway, also catches my eye. So there's a lot of factors in that one for that initial that that, that quick little peak we've seen. hmm I mean you have that offering from Nike and then Converse has given you a Chuck 90, pardon me, a Chuck 70 and a, um, and a pro leather low. Just yep. clean stuff. They have like a yeah. little road runner. I mean, uh, Marvin, the Martian tune squad short from Converse. I'm very interested in, I think that's a good looking short. Um, but just like I went from a complete nope, 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 nope to uh okay. There's like two or three shoes in here. I actually like and like the Marvin the Martian um, eighteen low also looks cool. Mm-hmm. I was giving you smack talking about how you can't make the eighteen low look good at all. <laughs> like, dang it! <laughs> the first game I was like, all right, I, I I will I will eat my words a little bit because they're not perfect, but just like enough cartooniness, and I think that's where like Looney Tune stuff succeeds overall. It's, it's very grounded and reality but they don't have like a heavily cartoony looking swoosh like yeah a looney tune draw drew it and i think that's a really strong look forget the air force one though that lola bunny air force one no 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 the the one that looks good is that black one i guess for the villain i don't uh what her don Cheadle's character is Uh uh but it's the all black like the glow in the dark outsole uh that one's pretty sick because it has all like these different uh it looks laser etched i don't know if Nike's going to actually fork out the cat to do laser etching or is it just like painted on there? But it's very sick. Um, if you see this, you know, the, the, the LeBron eight also. Yeah. The LeBron eight, you know what? Funny enough. I think I like the air force one better than the LeBron eight. I never thought I was utter the, utter those words, but the execution on that is a little bit more understated on the air force one. Whereas there's a lot of only thing I don't like about the LeBron eight is on the tongue, the, the large space jam or tune squad branding. I understand mm-hmm. it's for the, for the movie, so I, I'm not knocking that for what it is. But I won't wear it as opposed to the Air Force One. It's a little less branded, but a little bit, a lot more details on it, in my opinion. 
Yeah, the Chuck Seventy literally says Tune Squad" plastered on the side of it. I'm like, that one's a little, that one's a little hard to rock. But the one with Lola Bunny and um, Daffy Duck, this has Lola mm-hmm. Bunny and Daffy Duck on it. So I think that's a better look. I mean, we could we go back and forth almost every episode when it comes to collaborations. Like, did it go too? Did it go too? Um, overly cartoony or too far into the source material or did it play it safe so it's like we're the definition of there's no perfect answer and nobody's ever yep. really happy <laughs> yeah you like what you like and it's like you, you can't like the whole pack i mean i guess you could but there's something for everybody though is what i should have said there's something for the person like ah, i don't want too much of this or oh this is cool i really like looney tunes so they really cater to everybody through both the uh, converse and the nike brands but i have to say to have the combination of the LeBron two squad Jersey and like the varsity jacket. I'll take that. I mean, it's way too much money to spend for, uh, for that. But I, I like those two offerings. <laughs> They're very nice. The, the, the tune squad shorts are cool too. Mm-hmm. So the whole fit so going pretty, going going pretty good stuff. Well, I think that's where we're going to wrap it up today. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube again, Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the Sneaker History channel. Mike, where can they subscribe to you? Yeah, you can subscribe to me on YouTube as well at Mike Guillory or Instagram and Twitter at MadWatcher789. All right, everybody. I'm Robbie. You can find me at R-A-H-B-E-E 702. But above, above all, make sure you're following Sneaker History on all platforms. Take it easy and thanks for tuning in. Peace. See you.